time to get out of bed this instant. And turn it on. Glenn, Angel, and the Flying Dutchman. The Big Show on Kiss 92. Good morning, Singapore. Welcome to The Big Show and The Big Show TV. We have not one doctor, but we have two doctors. Actually, one's a professor and the other one's a doctor. Mm -hmm. Um, (laughs) Professor Christopher Goh, who is an otorhinolaryngologist, head and neck surgeon from Mount Elizabeth Novena Hospital, and Dr. Ivan Tham, who's a radiation oncologist from Mount Elizabeth Hospitals as well. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Now, it took took Glenn all morning... To try and pronounce that word, no, did he get it right? No, well, okay. Well, Otorhinolaryngologist. Is that correct? <laughs> yes. Tell us what an otorhinolaryngologist. Before is. that, I just want to say uh-huh. nine out of ten people uh-huh. cannot pronounce. Cannot pronounce that word. <laughs> ten out of ten can't spell it. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a well, little bit more about what you do. Actually, uh, the term means ear, nose, and throat. So we can call you an ENT surgeon. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> yes, it makes it easier. That would yes. be a lot easier. Definitely. Yes. <laughs> Okay. Um, okay. So today we're, we're, we're talking uh, specifically about breakthroughs in head and neck cancer. We were having this discussion just now. What is head cancer? Is it brain cancer? Uh-huh. Is that the same thing? <laughs> yeah, I think it's good to start this conversation with a definition. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I can tell you what it's not. It's not brain cancers. Okay. Okay. okay so that's uh, it's a good point to make. Okay. Yeah, it's actually a medical term. And it's used to refer to a group of cancers mm. that uh, occur in the head and neck region. And we define it by saying that uh, in these areas like the nose, the mouth, the throat, the voice box, mm. and then the back of the nose, which is called the nasopharynx. And then there's some glands that you find in the head and neck region as well. For okay. example, uh, thyroid gland is found right. in the head and neck region. The salivary glands, like the parotid glands, so these are found in the head and neck region. So that's how we define head and neck cancers. Ah. So am I accurate to say anything above the shoulders? In a way, Besides and below the, the brain. brain. Yeah. And below the brain, right. Yes. Okay, so, okay, got it. Okay, nicely said, I think. <laughs> Skull base to above shoulders. Above the shoulders, okay, right. got it. Okay. Now, uh, Dr. Tom, what, what's a radiation oncologist? Well, basically, we are um, a branch of um, oncology where we use radiation to treat cancers. So we apply that for head and neck cancers, but also other cancers in other parts of the body. Mm. Got it. Mm. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So now that we've sorted that part out, what is proton therapy? Because we've heard of yeah. radiotherapy, we've heard of chemo as well. What is proton therapy? Is that something new? Is that something we should be looking out for? In terms of treatments? Yes, it is uh, new to Singapore. We've only had it uh, from the big, uh, about the middle of this year. Oh, wow, very new. Yeah, but actually, the proton therapy story has uh, been around for a long time. Yeah, I'm not sure whether you're familiar with the movie Oppenheimer. Yes. yes. Oppenheimer, yes. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, Have you watched the not sequel? Not uh, yet. No. The, the, the sequel, sequel, but the sequel first one just the came pre- out. Prequel. Yeah, the sequel. The sequel of yeah. Oppenheimer? So, no. Yeah. <laughs> So after the Manhattan Project uh, was uh, completed with the atomic bombs, uh, there were, I- if you have watched the show, uh, some disquiet among the scientists yes. who were quite unhappy or, or quite regretful that um, radiation was used uh, mainly uh, as a weapon of yeah. war. So there were then peaceful um, users being developed from the technology um, that was uh, started with the Manhattan Project and one of these products actually was proton therapy. Oh, wow, okay. So it sounds like a very effective way to, to kill, you know, cancer cells. Yeah, so it's, um, we, we use x-rays for most of our patients now. So proton therapy is just an additional tool that we can use and we use it selectively uh, to improve the patient's outcome. So it is a form of chemotherapy? It's a form of radiation therapy. Radiation, radiation therapy, therapy. okay. Oh. Let's let's talk about yeah, that a little bit more yeah. on The Big Show TV. Meantime, here's Coil Ray with Players on KISS 92. So it's a form of radiation therapy. Radiation therapy now is the therapy you go through when you have a cancer. They, uh, my father-in-law had throat cancer, and they developed this like a like a mask that they put over. Yes. Correct. Yes. Do you do the same thing with proton therapy? Yes, we do. Yeah. So Good. there are many similarities between uh, conventional X-ray therapy and proton therapy. Right. In both modalities, we shoot. 
um, energy or, or radiation from the outside. Mm. It penetrates the skin and it hits the target. Mm. Does it have the same sort of effect that that radiation uh, radiotherapy has, where you get that that almost burning uh, yes. scarring? Yeah, yeah. So um, side effects yeah. really uh, depend on where we are targeting the head and neck region. As uh, Professor Go would would also share, it's a very complex space, and there are lots of functions, there are a lot of organs in uh, close proximity to each other, as well as to the tumor. So. Mm. Our goal really is to hit the tumor, but leave the normal structures there intact. But uh, inevitably, there will be some uh, side effects. Side effects, right? right. Mm. Now, Professor Go, what are the most common types of head and uh, head head cancers, so to speak, here in Singapore? Head and neck cancers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, the most common type of head and neck cancer among males in Singapore would be the cancer of the nasopharynx. Is that the cancer of nose? The it's, nose is that uh, the same thing? The nose. Just behind the behind, nose. Okay. Yeah. So you're right to try to differentiate between the nose and the nasopharynx. Mm. The nose is in front and the nasopharynx at the back. Got it. And the sinuses are just around On the, side. the nose. Mm. So you've got nose, sinus, which you can also have cancers arising from them. Mm. But those are not common. Okay. The most common among males in Singapore would be the nasopharynx cancer. Okay. okay. But amongst females, it would be the cancer of the thyroid gland. Right, okay. Thyroid gland, yeah. So, okay. So it depends on whether male or female, but uh, those are the most common head and neck cancers that you find yeah. in, Singapore. in Singapore. What would cause something like nasal pharynx cancer? When you smoke, uh, I was blow about it up to through say, your nose. That's what we heard, yeah. yeah. Is, that, <laughs> is that a huge cause for it? Uh, actually, ironically, it's not the smoking. We are more uh, concerned about things like taking salted fish. Oh. Uh, it's, yeah, so salted, salted fish. Salted fish? Why? As in Oh, yes, but yummy. why? Man, but why, how would that wait, affect yeah. your? Uh, there are carcinogens in this preserved stuff like what? carcinogens. What? There are carcinogens no in everything. You know, when I eat tauge, uh, I yes. must have the salted fish with the tauge. You know. Absolutely. But luckily these days I don't eat it so, so often. So why are there carcinogens in salted fish? I mean, it seems such a simple thing. It's it's salt and it's fish. Yeah. Okay. So fresh fish, nice to have. Yeah. Very safe. Yeah. When you keep it to ferment it or to salt it, then of course they begin to produce things like nitrosamines, mm. and these are carcinogens. If taken in large amounts, I think it can cause, uh, it will can can cause nasopharyngeal cancer. So you mentioned fermented as well. What about fermented food? Things like kimchi, kimchi and kimchi things, and you know, kimchi, like tofu and as well. That's so not many. been established. No, okay. What's really been established will be salted fish. Wow, so specific. Crazy. Salted eggs also salted has not been established. It's not been established. Yeah. Okay, but again, I would say. Try to avoid preserved food stuff. Any other preserved food stuff you can tell us to stay away from? Because I mean, I'm sure yeah. a lot of people Everything are interested. We eat. Salted vegetables, for example. Okay. Oh, oh my oh, goodness, kiam <laughs> thai. Oh. You mean my kiam thai? I. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but I mean, when it comes to carcinogens, we've been finding out s that so many products and so many food items have them. Yes. What are the other things besides preserved food that have carcinogens that are known? I think for head and neck, it would be probably merely the nitrosamines that come from preserved From preserved salted stuff. foods. Okay. So, what wow. about my bacon, Prof? Uh -huh. A bacon? Not established. Not established so. yet. Okay. <laughs> Sunday breakfast is okay. <laughs> bacon and yeah. eggs. You also, not that. all the time, yeah. like, in moderation. No, in moderation, right? yeah, of course. Yeah. 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 But in addition to that, there's association with the Epstein Barr virus. What is that? Uh, it's a virus that you get, it's quite common that you get uh, when you have uh, sore throat, what they call the. Infectious mononucleosis, uh, but somehow there's an association of this virus with nasopharyngeal cancer. Okay. And I suspect it has to be also in relation to genetics. So, you know, like as everybody says, you can take salted fish and yet nothing happens to mm. you. Mm. You've been exposed to Epstein Barr virus, nothing happens to you. So, there must be a genetic component as well that yeah. triggers this. Mm. Uh, so, mm. that's what I, I okay. think. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're going back uh, on air. Yeah. I want to find out about Stand the by. symptoms okay. of head and neck cancer. Yeah. traffic. Alrighty, let's take a look at it. You've got the usual delays across the expressways. We know that much. There are a few areas 
to look out for the PIE towards Twas, a vehicle broken down before the KJE, AYE towards the MCE, an accident after Jurong Town Hall entrance, avoid lanes one and two. On the KJE towards the PIE, an accident after Sungai Tunga exit, the BKE towards the PIE, a vehicle broken down before the KJE. Please stay within the speed limit, have everyone buckled up, be safe as you drive today. Good morning, Singapore. Welcome back to The Big Show and The Big Show TV. Our guests for this morning are from Mount Elizabeth Novena Hospitals, Professor Christopher Goh, who's a head and neck surgeon, as well as Dr. Ivan Tham, a radiation oncologist. Once again, welcome to the show, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. So we've been talking about head and neck cancers and a little bit more about the most common type of head and neck cancers in Singapore. Can you take us through that again? For men and women, it's very different, right? Yes. So the most common... Uh, head and neck cancer in Singapore for men would be nasopharyngeal cancer and for women it would be thyroid cancers. And what are the symptoms for these cancers? Okay. So I think one of the things that we should look out for would be neck lumps. Okay. So for example, if you have a thyroid cancer, most of the time it's present, you present with a neck lump, a, a thyroid lump actually. Mm. And this lump moves with swallowing. Oh, so, so you see a lump that moves with swallowing. Oh, uh, oh my! It's likely to be from the thyroid gland. Does it? Will it hurt? Uh, usually, it doesn't hurt. The it's thing the about ones it. that are painless that you have to be yes. afraid of, right? Yeah. Yeah. Wow! Yes. And what about for the nasal pharynx? Yeah. pharynx. So nasal pharynx, unfortunately, the most common uh, presenting symptom would be an, also a neck lump, but this time is related to a lymph node. So kind so of just around, at your jawline? Yes, around the upper part of the neck usually, on the left or right side, sometimes both sides. Oh. Uh, I say it's unfortunate because if it does appear, it means that it has spread from the nasal pharynx uh. to the lymph nodes. So you can't tell if it's uh, behind your nose at all before uh, that? It's hard to tell, but you should look out for other symptoms which I'm going to share with you right now. Okay. okay. Uh, for example, if you've been bleeding from the nose, mm. or, or more importantly, if there's blood stain in your phlegm, or your nasal discharge. I think that's even more ominous than just bleeding. Okay. Uh, a ringing sound in the ear on one side, especially. You know, I know that's common. We all do hear mm. ringing sounds once in a while. But if it's persistent, I think we should look out for mm. uh, nasal pharyngeal cancer. Oh my. Yeah. Wow. I think if there's any doubt whatsoever, you should definitely go get yourself checked out. That's the most important exactly. thing. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, I know that's some people whose nose bleed because, you know, they dig their nose all the time. Ew. Gross. Uh, yeah. And then the, the nail is a bit long and Ew. they, you know. Yeah. No, no, it, it, it's, it's I've real. seen it happen to it's, a friend of mine. Yeah, literally. I just saw just someone cut, digging their nose in the car the other day. It was like driving and digging the nose. Oh. I said, oh, yeah, your nose is going to bleed. It's now. so funny why people choose to do that in the car as if they can't be seen by exactly. anyone else. Yeah. You know, it's like, a, it's like a magical shield that once their doors are closed, no one else can see what they're doing. On our Facebook page, we do have a question for Dr. Tom about proton treatment. Yes. Can it be used, and I have no idea what this is, uh, Jimmy says, can it be used for glomus tumors? At the moment... Uh, First of all, what's a glomus tumor? Yeah. Well, I think <laughs> Prof. Go <laughs> can... Uh, if you can explain that. Okay. Uh, there are various types of glomus tumors, but I think what they're referring to mainly would be the ones in the uh, neck, okay, that comes from uh, the, uh, shall we say, it, it, it's the development thing related to the, to the nerves. Okay. Mm. Make, to make it simple, I think, mean, you mm. know, it's, technically it's from neural crest cells, and this, that, you know, but just related to the nerves. But you can also have another kind of neuroma that you can get in, around the, the base of the, the, the brain. brain. That's called an acoustic neuroma. Mm. So <laughs> can this proton therapy be used for that? Um, I would say currently in Singapore, no. We do have some uh, guidelines and uh, restrictions on what can and cannot be used. But uh, glomus tumors is... Uh, benign. It's, okay. it's benign, benign and it's... So uh, Establish that as well, yeah. that's benign. Mm. It could uh, well be treated by other ways as well. So good for the listener to consult a doctor. Okay. Right. I mean, um, still uh, with you, uh, Dr. Tham, for the people who are just tuning in right now, they're a little late. What is the difference between proton therapy and other treatments? So proton therapy is just one way of delivering radiation to kill cancer. So for most patients in Singapore, we deliver x-rays or high-energy x-rays which uh, target the tumour and uh, 
destroy it by a variety of means. Um, so proton therapy is uh, a new way that we can offer some of our patients to uh, deliver the same dose of radiation but with less side effects. All right. Please keep your questions coming in on our Facebook page. We are speaking to Dr. Ivan Tham as well as Professor Christopher Go today on Good Morning Doctor. It is 8.16. KISS 92 Time Check brought to you by Putian. Putian's... FD? Okay, FD. okay. Uh, when it comes to proton therapy, sometimes there, there are, are various therapies that are combined. Can, can proton therapy be combined with other therapies? Yes, definitely. So I think for head and neck uh, cancers and many other cancers, uh, whole, uh, a whole team of specialists would be involved. Mm. So uh, for example, we could have a patient who had surgery with Prof Go and subsequently receive um, adjuvant or post-operative radiation to the head and neck region, and we can use x-rays or protons for that. For many other patients, we also um, ask a medical oncologist to deliver some systemic therapy, such as chemotherapy, while we are running the, uh, the proton therapy. Wow. Okay, we, ha we have another question from Shida about whether proton therapy can be used for pituitary tumors. Yes. Pituitary okay. tumors, again, um, depending on the size and the, the uh, basically the size and the functional status, could be treated with uh, radiation or surgery or, or possibly a combination. Mm, okay. So, mm. uh, but I guess I will, we'll move on to the next one from Grace. When would proton therapy not be used? I think mm. that would be good. What, what, what mm. can it be used on? Yeah. So... Um, as, as mentioned, proton therapy is uh, one tool. There are other ways to kill cancer with radiation. Um, in general, very small targets would not benefit from proton therapy. For example, the 2 or 3 millimeter brain metastases we see sometimes, those will be treated with um, x-rays and uh, we can deliver a, a better dose using x-rays or gamma rays. Right, okay, okay. It's, yeah. would, would you consider proton therapy gentler on a person than, you know, your radiotherapy and your chemotherapy in terms of like side effects and, and how the person would feel after? Yes, so one of the motivations of developing proton therapy would be to reduce the side effect profile. Uh, we see that um, especially when we need to treat a large area. Uh, there are some children, unfortunately, who develop childhood cancers mm -hmm. And uh, despite systemic therapy and so on, would still need some radiation therapy. So these uh, children would benefit the most from proton therapy because it is gentler, as you said, and it would also reduce uh, early as well as potential late side effects. Got it. Okay, great. Interesting mm. that you brought up children. Um, who is more prone uh, to getting head and neck cancers? Professor Go. Uh, it's... Uh, more the adults. Mm. Yeah, so rarely do we get head and neck cancers in children. Mm. Yeah, so Is there any specific demographic? Demographic, yeah. That uh, is more susceptible? Uh, lifestyle, yeah. habits. Okay, uh, you know? that's, that's a good point. Gender, it's, it's, you know. Yeah, yeah. And I should elaborate. Uh, lifestyle like smoking, mm. excessive drinking, uh, exposure to the human papilloma virus, HPV. Mm. Uh, Salted fish, you mentioned that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No more salted vegetables and fish for you guys. <laughs> yeah, preserve, you know, stuff. Yeah. So, but smoking, drinking, and HPV are the, are are the, the main three ones. More, yeah, common ones now. Mm. Okay, okay. Annie Go has a question. She says, she asks, uh, for stage four cancer, what kind of therapy would be used? That's just, that's it. There's no details. Oh, okay, so basically, when it comes to recommending treatment, uh, and if you say stage 4, there is a stage 4 where we think there is still a chance for cure and we'll go for it. And those that we think is more palliative, in other mm. words, uh, there's, you know, not likely to be able to cure. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so let's go for the ones that uh, we're able to cure. Uh, for those, a combination of surgery, radiation and chemo is sometimes used in, in, in different uh, permutations. Yeah. Right, so sometimes, uh, for example, I give an example, the stage 4 tongue cancer. Uh, we start off with surgery, uh, and if it's really very advanced, you know, you add on radiation and mm. even sometimes radiation and chemotherapy. Oh. Yeah, so that's uh, 
for those for the curable ones. For those that are palliative, then of course the more medical oncologists will uh, mm. take over mm. and, and mm. give the appropriate uh, treatment. Yeah. So you know, if we're talking about chemotherapy and and proton therapy. Mm. Yes. Uh, the side effects now everyone knows that there are side effects when it comes to chemotherapy some really really bad side effects mm. um, are there side effects for proton therapy as well? oh yes um, so radiation therapy um, can have many side effects but really depends on the area that we are treating mm. so when we treat head and neck cancers then the, the side effects are mostly localised uh, to the mouth or the throat area many patients can have a change of taste so, uh, as well as a dry mouth, many patients can have a, a sore throat and as the Flying Dutchman mentioned, a skin reaction as well. So, mm. these are all pretty common. Um, besides cancer, are there other illnesses that proton therapy can be used on? Uh, no. So, proton therapy is only Strictly for cancer. For cancer yes. Okay. Is it used the same way other treatments are? So, uh, you know, you go for 20 sessions, 15 sessions. Is it done like that? Yes, so it's typically fractionated. We have found a long time ago that by giving small amounts of radiation over several weeks, we can uh, spare the patient uh, worse side effects. Mm. So it's typically given for hair neck cancers over six to six and a half weeks. Okay. Wow. Okay. Anything we can do, uh, I suppose this one is for Professor Go to prevent being diagnosed with head and neck cancer. Uh, I think it goes back to lifestyle. Mm. Uh, certain things you can change, which is lifestyle. Of course, genetics you can't change. Mm. Uh, but lifestyle, certainly if you're a smoker, then you should stop yeah. smoking yeah. immediately what, when if you, you can. S- when you say genetics, I mean, is it hereditary or, mm. you know? Yes, so a good example again will be nasopharyngeal cancer. You find that it's mainly in southeastern, amongst the southeastern Chinese, in particular the Cantonese. Oh, so obviously there must be something genetic about that, you know, being southeastern Chinese, uh, and therefore the incidence of nasopharyngeal cancer in southeastern China and around Hong Kong is very high. Wow. Okay. Wow. Could it also be due to the pollution that they have? Uh, pollution, uh, in yes, those contributes areas. to f- cancers like cancers of the lung, the larynx, and so on. Uh, but for nasopharyngeal cancer, not so much. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Oh, doctor, what is um what is Burkitt lymphoma? Ah, okay. Let me ask you a yeah, question when we go on there. Okay. Traffic. Not very much has changed uh, over the last few minutes, uh, traffic-wise, so uh, we've still got uh, a few areas that you need to look out for. The new one being Adam Road towards Queensway. We have an accident after McRitchie. The PIE towards Changi, a vehicle broken down before Engnio Avenue. And the TPE towards the PIE, an accident at Pongol Road entrance. Please stay within the speed limit. Have everyone buckled up. Be safe as you drive today. Welcome back to The Big Show and The Big Show TV. Our guest for this morning, Professor Christopher Goh, head and neck surgeon from Mount Elizabeth Novena Hospital, as well as Dr. Ivan Tham, radiation oncologist from Mount Elizabeth Hospital. Now, once again, good morning, guys. Thank you so much for joining us today. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I have a question uh, uh, for you, uh, Dr. Tham, because a friend of ours who's a celebrity in in Malaysia uh, was diagnosed with uh, Burkitt lymphoma cancer. What is Burkitt lymphoma cancer? Broadly speaking, lymphoma is a cancer of the lymph glands. Burkitt's lymphoma is a, a rare subtype of uh, lymphoma. It can be pretty um, aggressive and needs um, urgent treatment and intensive treatment. Yeah, which is why he went through chemo last week. Mm. And uh, he, he says that the doctor said that uh, uh, just in case, chemo just in case the Burkitt lymphoma cancer cells uh, find its way up to his brain. 
Mm. Oh wow! Yeah, wow, so so you're right. I mean, you had to have uh, you know immediate therapy. Immediate, immediate therapy. therapy. Yeah. And and right now he's experiencing side effects. You know, he's he's been like majorly constipated because his intestines have oh, have my. also swelled up. Uh, just 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 a question of that before FD before yeah, you ask yeah, yours. Yeah. Can proton therapy be used for something like that? I don't think you would need to. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, the main treatment should be uh, systemic therapy with uh, high doses of chemotherapy. Chemotherapy, chemotherapy. okay, chemotherapy. okay, got which it. is tough. Yes. Okay. Uh, Laura has come on our Facebook page uh, for Doctor Tham and asked two questions. One, um, when it comes to cost, is it more expensive than traditional therapies? Yes, unfortunately, it would be about double the price. Okay. Okay. And the other thing she says is, can proton therapy be used for breast cancer? At the moment in Singapore, the short answer is no. Okay, all right. Okay. So it's because it's such a new therapy, the costs are quite high, and uh, you haven't quite regulated what which kind of cancers it should mm. be used for. Then yeah, give it a little bit more time. Yes. Well, basically, breast cancer can be treated uh, pretty well with conventional, with current uh, state of the art treatment. Right, so right. I'm not sure whether proton therapy would add much value to that. Mm. Okay, got it. Right. Fair okay. Enough. All right. Before we let uh, both of you go, Professor Go, I mean, what advice do you have for people who perhaps maybe suspect that they, you know, something might not be right, uh, and and who are listening in right now? Uh, any advice for them? I, I think at the end of the day, early detection is key. So if you've got symptoms that seem to suggest that you may have head and neck cancer, in particular nasopharyngeal cancer, which is well hidden and not so easily seen, then go seek medical advice. You know, because the best way to overcome cancer is to pick it up early uh, and that's the, when you get the best chance for cure. Mm. Mm. Okay, good advice there. Thank you so much, uh, Professor Christopher Goh, as well as Dr. Ivan Tham. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having Thank us. Thank you for having us here. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in to The Big Show's Good Morning Doctor, because it's time to... Okay, we're still live on Facebook, but we're off air already. Yeah, yeah. let's take a photo. Let's, let's take a photo. Was that good? All right, no, no, good. excellent. Yeah. Okay, we'll take a photo at the photo wall. Obviously, you all know a lot about head and neck cancer still. Yeah, yeah. You, you sound like we know what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs>
too much pressure. I can't do this. Hey, no, you're sir. Be sure not to kick the back of your seat in an airplane. Yeah, am I here? Yes, you're there. Yeah, right and there. your camera is right there. Oh, there's a camera. We're... And my handle. And your handle, of course. <laughs> oh, like you need more followers. Don't look at it. No. no, unfollow me now, please. <laughs> so Angel was telling us all about uh, the oh, time oh, yeah. you were working with her on Lush. Yes. Oh, yeah, I was a young, impressionable boy. And he said intern as well. No, I'm no, not, no, no, no. I'm I not the only one that thinks I you were an intern. intern. Everyone thought I was an intern. It was I Elias lied. that was the intern. Elias. Oh, was yeah. it really? It was not you? That's Elias right. was you the intern. You had a full-time job. It was, it was part-time. <laughs> oh, really. it was part-time. You know, Elias does all. All our videos now, right? Yeah. Or at least he was doing Yeah, a small man, big voice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you true. never know He'll that voice fool. comes out He'll of his voice. Real naked choke you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You aren't seeing me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all about me. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, uh, we're, we've got a minute and a half before we go on air, but we're live, obviously, on Facebook. Yeah. Anything you want to say to your yeah, fans? Right. Your legions of fans that are watching? Just all two of them. What's yeah. up? Thank you. Your for... wife and your... <laughs> yeah, just... And, and my dog, yeah. My wife and your dog. My wife and my dog. Hey, no pressure. Somebody just said, hey, how come the doctors left so early and then FD went? Because, yes, because we've got Benjamin, Benjamin King, King is coming in, in. that's oh, why. Oh. Yeah. So that's why they were cut I short. I know they were doctors. And they're then doctors. I, I asked um, my team, then someone was like, oh, they look like finance bros. Huh? No, no, no. <laughs> head, head and neck cancer. Yeah, boy. Yeah. It was, uh, oh, do I have a heavy. story for you? No, I have nothing. <laughs> So early, on, expectation here. so early on, uh, you know, I mean, just in case uh, the viewers were wondering who I was talking about when I said, you know, our friend from Malaysia who's been diagnosed uh -huh. with yeah. uh, Burkitt's Bur lymphoma. lymphoma. Lymphoma cancer, yeah. yeah. It's our Chef Juan. Chef Juan. Yeah, yeah. it's it's all yeah. over his uh, yeah. Instagram, so it's he's not a secret. It he's put yeah. it out on his social media. Chef, yeah. if you're watching, get well soon, Get well okay? soon, Chef. We love you. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah. Special man, yeah. It does. Okay, we're going to go on air. On air. Yep. Up on me, baby. <coughs> oh. All these times are hard. Hear the making us crazy. Don't give up on me, baby. The script for the first time right here on KISS 92. All the great songs in one place. Our second guest for this morning is the one and only Benjamin K. Hey! Hey! Oh, I'm shy. Do this. No, no, <laughs> if, there's, if there's anything you're not, is shy. Are you an introvert or you're an extrovert or are you an introverted extrovert? I'm what just verted, really. You're verted? Honestly, yeah. Are you ambiverted? I'm not underwhelmed or overwhelmed. I'm just whelmed. Oh, that's good. Right. Nice. Yeah. Nice place to be. In, in the oh, middle. Yeah. Yeah. Just Every in the day. middle. Okay. Just whelmed, yeah. <laughs> you know what? Strange. Before we go into your whole music career Hi. and all that we were asking our listeners one question today what is the one thing you simply won't put up with what's your answer oh, to that oh yes i was listening to that about <laughs> about uh, kids kicking your chair yes. oh, not, i'm gonna do it right now for yeah, you thanks, like, thanks, so. thanks, <laughs> thanks. No, was, um I, I think it would be you know long time friends who you don't see for a long time Hey, how's it going? And then you realize they're a financial consultant and trying to sell, sell <laughs> Insurance you stuff. Or something. Yeah, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm good, guys. I'm good. Yeah. Well, I'm thank sure you, you so much, uh, Ben, for coming here. I know this might be a bit too early. Are you a morning person? I am for you guys. This is the wow. Avengers of Radio, right oh. here. I was saying. Like, I realize I've had I've had working experiences with each of you guys in very like impressionable, daunting ways. So uh, daunting. no pressure. This daunting. is this is good. This is good. Yeah. I'm just telling Angel, I, you. You look the same, man. Yeah, yeah you haven't we changed at all. We were trying to guess how old I you were. In different. my eyes, you're still a teenager. <laughs> same. Oh, to some yeah. people. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. In my in my um, maturity, definitely <laughs> a kid. So, yeah. Oh, you're just too modest. No. Anyway, congratulations on your uh, latest single. We're you, whacking man. it right here on KISS 92. Oh. Uh, no, not whacking it that give, way. No, but, give it know, a hard whack. A lot, give right? it a hard <laughs> whack. Benjamin <laughs> King featuring James Reed. We're going to play that song in just a while. Tell us a little bit about this collaboration. How did it come about? Yeah, I know. It's a... Uh, part of uh, fostering better relations between the countries, you know, all about... <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> yeah. Wait, so, is he so, Filipino? So James, James, is, James is Filipino. Okay. He's um, he's like a big, you know, teen heartthrob over there. Like, he's, you know, he's got throngs of fans. I'm not even 7. sure how 2 this... 7.2 million. Yeah, just a humble amount. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, just a little bigger than Singapore, do you oh think my about gosh. it? Oh, yeah. yeah. uh, he's a he's, he's a really great guy, man. We, we, we met up. He owns the handle at James, which is insane. Oh. It's crazy, right? Yeah, he is the James. He's Do you want to be the Benjamin? No, not at all. He's the only James in, in the world, actually. Wow. Um, no, but, but, you know, he was in town and, um, and we we're talking about hiking and chilling out. And he was just like, hey, um, I was like, would you do a song just for fun? He was like, of course. And I was, huh, really? <laughs> I was just kidding. Yeah, I was literally kidding. No, it's but got a it's great voice, great. man. 
dude sounds like the weekend or something. He, he sounds amazing. Yeah, mm -hmm. it sounds like right. Wednesday. I was, I was just thinking that just now because we played right, the yeah. weekend earlier on, and then I was like, yeah, this guy does sound a little bit like. I mean, J I mean, James Reed sounds a little bit like The Weeknd. Yeah, he sounds but, amazing. Yeah, but you know, he is uh, collaborating with a number of people right now. He collaborated yes. with uh, Hyo Yeon, I believe. Yes, yes, as yes. well. He's a huge uh, K K-pop star. A big K person. Yeah. yeah. One of one of the big K people. So tell us, I mean, rock bottom blues. Like yes. how did how did that name did come that about? Happen? Tell us a little bit about oh, the yeah. song itself oh. since it's coming up. It's kind of a rock bottom, I guess, guys. Um, <laughs> but I think it was one of those things where for the album, I just wanted to be as as brutally honest as I could. I think, you know, over the tenure of my like pretty short career, like I haven't been the most honest I, I could be. Um, and that comes to the territory. I feel like it's better to be honest. And these days, you know, like um, people can tell when you're dishonest, yes. even in music. So I was like, I think I, I got I to gotta push it. I got to really dig deep. Um, yeah, I think... I think turning thirty helped as well in the realization that you know. Turning thirty, see, that's well, what we were saying. We, turning thirty. 30 yeah, wow. you guys know what it's like. Uh, clearly, <laughs> I can't even oh. remember. <laughs> 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 you don't know, look like a day over twenty-five. You're good. <laughs> Thank you. Um, that's kind of where it's at. Yeah. So authenticity then. Uh, an attempt to be yes. Okay. Yeah. But this you? this was a very fast song. It was put together very fast. It yeah it was a little a little fast. Uh, I, I, he was in town for a little bit, but again, you know, over the internet, it was a lot of Zoom sessions, and mm. that's that's how it is these days. Mm. It's it's a bit sad. We never got to be in a studio to work it out, you know, that kind of thing. Right. Oh, you never were when you did the. No, we used oh, a lot wow. of voice memos. He did his thing. I did my oh, thing. Wow. He was in for a day to shoot the music video. Yeah, it was, okay. a, it was a quickie. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. It was a, a one night thing. <laughs> oh yes, so uh, a day and a night. Yes, <laughs> but you see, these days nobody knows, right? Yeah, the production tell. quality is so fantastic exactly. these yeah. days. Okay, yeah. we got to talk to uh, Ben a little bit more on the Big Show TV about production sure, and yeah, yeah. more all right because i have a you know i've always loved local music and okay. back in the day i used to have my own you know local program yeah <laughs> but at that time we would consider if the production quality was good enough of course you know yeah. first mm. to play those songs on the radio sure, but these yeah. days there is no every such ki every problem. kid in a bedroom with a laptop will yep. give you like world class production exactly straight up it's so exactly. easy yeah. these days we're speaking to benjamin king right here on kiss 92 all the great songs in one place here he is with james reed this is a really hot track at the moment rock bottom blues on kiss i've been trying to get out of all of you guys look the exact same. Well. Aww. Yeah, no changes. <laughs> no, You're being kind. No, not yeah. at all. Yeah. Just for, for you, serious. You're that allowed to stay for a few more minutes. Few more minutes. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, in that case, uh, <laughs> <laughs> on our no, Facebook page, uh, Tan, Chang, uh, Tan Chan Kiet says, Ben is a fantastic singer. I didn't know who he was before I saw his TikTok. Oh, and dear. I was wowed okay. by his voice. And started following the TikToks. Nice the TikToks. TikToks. Okay, thank you. Did you always yes, know? Uh, did you always know you were going to, you know, be a singer? Or was it always like, I'm going to be a professional swimmer? Yeah, because that's yeah, where you're starting out, right? Professional yeah. athlete. I just want to. No, I just. I. No, I. I. I greatly disliked the pool. I think it was. Uh, <laughs> it was very boring, guys. Oh. It was, it was a pain. Okay. Uh, and I. And I wasn't, you know, genetically built like Joseph Schooling, so mm. I, I don't. I don't have the, you know. The, uh, uh, so I think it was a matter of. I just want to tell stories. I but guess. I mean, yeah. like, like early on in your career, when I knew you back in Lush, did you already oh, know you wanted to do music? I wanted to do something. I wanted to either do pr production or compose. You know, I don't okay. think I was going to sing and do the thing. So um, you never, you weren't a singer from like a young age. I mean, I had a, I did a bit of singing for my family for fun. It wasn't like a really serious thing. I think it was mm. more about music and, and composition or being involved mm. in it. That mm. time I was doing a bit of classical music. So mm. yeah, but but um, these days everybody is a musician and singer. So, <laughs> yeah. Especially with the software out there, right? Yeah, the yeah. software, man. It's, it's software. Yeah, and, uh, and yeah. yeah, unless you hear someone sing live, you won't really yeah. know because everything is so processed these days. You know, which is why yeah. I feel like these days, right? Radio stations here in Singapore. Mm. I mean, I think we play a lot of local music. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Right? Yeah. I mean, we've got the likes of um, you know Daphne with us. We've got uh, yeah, Josh man. with us as well. Joshy. Yeah, you know, and we've got more Marianne is here more as well, local yeah. artists. Yeah. You know, who are also presenters here on yeah. Kiss, and I feel yeah. like we should yeah. be playing more local music, even more local yeah. music. Nudge, and I feel nudge, like wing, wing. the <laughs> other radio stations should also be supporting local. Call them out, name and shame. <laughs> 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 no, oh, no, 
no, you, you, you're allowed to do because it because there us. is no reason why we shouldn't be playing more local music now yeah, you know in the past sure. the, the excuse and I can tell you I've worked with so many music directors in the past mm. the excuse was always like no production quality is not good enough but now there's no you know, it sounds though. bad but now there's you know, no such thing there is yeah there is very little of it now mm. you know Uh, Production is fantastic. Actually, yeah. even back in the day, well, well, we were, you know, we started out on radio. Uh, yep. Joshua Simon was already he was he was the hot music producer. He was doing a lot of stuff that was incredibly cutting edge. Already back then. Already, wow. dude. Yeah, his own music. It was way more complex than the stuff that the other bands were doing at the time. And Josh was this kid on the laptop. Mm. Yeah. With like this really great voice and his personality, you know, <laughs> it was Josh. And oh, I'm so shy. But he was, he was so kick ass and so killer and. Um, Yeah, no, it, he he kind of started it. Yeah. It was interesting, and then we kind of swapped professions. <laughs> right now. Yeah. now, now he's on air, and you're really? the one on stage. I mean, he's so good at what he does. I, yeah, I he think. is. Yeah, he, he's he's very very. Is good. it expensive to produce an album these days? That's, uh, that's the next question. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, am I asking the wrong questions this I morning? Think, no, I think the, I think in, in a major in a major label is still a little expensive, but you could do it on your own. You know, with a laptop and you know um, a good microphone. Yeah, and a good microphone, or even like a USB microphone. Like really? Kids are doing that. Yeah. yeah. yeah they are. I know Limp Bizkit cut records on GarageBand. <laughs> you know, like so. You, you whatever, man. As whatever long as you works. are creative, you have the passion. Yeah, and, and the because, perseverance. And, and now new drummers are popping up all over the place because new kids are taking control of Spotify, and mm. and it's not exactly mixed or mastered to the you know to what it used to be. Mm. But who cares? It's getting like like millions of streams, way more than you know a production that would cost you ten thousand dollars. So. Mm. There, there are no rules anymore, which is incredibly liberating and 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 frightful as well. Yeah, because yeah. The, now anybody can do it. Oh yeah, no, anybody anybody could do it. It's not like a job like anyone could fly a plane. No, yeah, 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 but, yeah. but anyone could cut a, a viral track. Track, no. yeah. Yeah. yeah, especially with social media now. I mean, you're massive on social media. Your Instagram, no, your your I'm TikTok. Tr- I mean, you you try to put the content out there. I'm trying to like, to to be mentally healthy as well and cut that down. Yeah. Exactly what I'm. Exactly what I wanted to ask is how. Yeah. How pressured are you to churn out content that's popular? You oh, know, because you just can't put anything out there. There are levels to this, right? Yeah. Like, like if you like, I think the assumption is obviously, oh, Ben's Ben's really active and busy. Um, mm. But then you look at the kids out there these days, and some of these new kids or uh, oh, the TikTok influencers. These guys are churning out like six videos a, a day. day. Yes, yeah. I know. A it's day. a full time thing. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's, it's tough. crazy. So there are levels to it. I, I mean, e- even for myself, I'm trying to like you know pivot and and do a couple of other things. Mm. Yeah, you know, it's, it's tiring. But yeah, like I, I guess there really are levels to this. So, but you are in full control of that. I'm in partial control. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, we're going back on air. Okay, let's do it. Yep. Stand by. You too with Vertigo right here on Kiss 92. All the great songs in one place. Our guest for this morning is Benjamin King. Hello. Who will not be singing today, <laughs> no. okay? Because, yeah. you know, yeah. your throat's not feeling too no, good. No, I, I, right? I had like three massive ulcers oh, like, no. in the corner. Ooh. So I, I can't smile too hard. Oh, not... dear. It's yeah. okay. You look, no, you no look good, Broody. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> No need to smile. I am. I'm <laughs> feeling it. <laughs> I was not going to ask you to sing anyway. Yeah. Just, just, just yeah. Um, so you know. But Ayo. Shalini and Cheyenne wanted you to sing on the show. They were. They were yeah, so they, they were. So they prepared to see the, the mic stand and everything. Oh, I'm so That's sorry. for you. And, yeah. But it's okay. So oh, since it. Benjamin is not singing, I will sing yeah. this morning. Fantastic. Shall I uh, Give us Bohemian start? run you right start, now. You shall start, yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. I never know what to do. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to Ben. Oh Happy birthday to you. That was beautiful, guys. You should form a band. You should, right? you should be a band. We're, we're thinking about it. You should. You should. In an old school way. I'll play percussion for you guys. A very old school way. That was beautiful, guys. Uh, it was your birthday yesterday. It was. It was, yes. unfortunately. And yeah. you were 22. Ah uh, yeah, He- forever 22. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay, we spoke about your James Reed con- collaboration. Anybody that you're absolutely dying to collaborate with? Uh, Queen B, Beyonce. Oh, yeah. Okay, wow. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, 
It, it could happen. Yeah. Yeah. It Anything is possible yeah. these days. That's true. Um, no, I, I mean, like, again, it, everyone's collaborating with everybody, everybody these days. It's, yeah. it's really nice. It's, it's um, a good way to expand the eyeballs on your talent. 100%. Actually, a person that, that collaborates quite frequently with me as, as a writer is, is Daphne. Daphne is one of the greatest Daphne. writers Hanary. we have. Yeah, yeah. Hanary, she She's so prolific. She's written with amazing people yes. that, I, I, you know, I wouldn't even get into because they're massive. But super humble super great very collaborative one of the most open people that i know mm. you don't get many people like that these days um, yeah. just no airs about her no. for everything she's done yeah and then she comes on radio and kills it yeah you yep. know mm. one of those people um so she's written a little bit on this on this album as well okay um, oh actually. wow okay yeah. that's yeah. that we'll ask her about that next week because nice. she comes yeah. she comes on our show every tuesday yeah yeah, yeah. 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 We can ask ben about it right yeah, we now. can ask okay yeah. what what which, uh, yeah. what has she written uh, I, I can't legally say oh, right okay, now, okay, okay. NDA, but, NDA. but she's amazing. I, I'm such a big fan. I've always been. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And, and, and she's got, you know, a lot uh, happening as well. Mm. A lot in the works. I mean, a she's current a single say, Daydream. Yeah. What do you think of a current single Daydream? I, I mean, I'm a, I'm a massive fan of everything she's done. I also yeah. helped, uh, we, we, our team shot a music video for her recently. One okay. of her other music videos um, called Curious. Uh, yeah. But yeah, that girl is just like hot on the sleeve. It's a great song yeah. as well. Yeah, just emotional. So honest. Love, She's very talented. Love, 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 love. Yeah. 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 This is a Daphne appreciation session. Daphne, are you, you watching and <laughs> listening to us right now? I'm a big fan. Maybe yeah. she is. She's in Bangkok right now. She is? Yeah, yeah she, she is. was working writing some stuff. Well. Yeah. yeah. Live your life, why don't you, Daphne? <laughs> One <laughs> oh, last working. question. I mean, you're no longer a national swimmer, obviously. Thankfully you're now not. a national yeah. singer. Try not to embarrass the nation. How do you keep fit? He oh. says, uh, Glenn says yoga. I was looking for... Hey, <laughs> I just did a hot yoga session with my wife yesterday. It was very painful. Don't do it. Well, your wife is a it professional yogi. It was very painful. Yogi. Extremely painful. <laughs> your wife is a professional yogi, isn't yeah, she? Yeah, she's, tr she's a teacher. She's a teacher. So um, and I'm a bad student. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what do you do to keep fit? Gym? Is that a traditional gym? Right now, gym? Um, I'm, 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 I'm boxing quite a lot, but for a role, actually. I'm training up for a role. Um, but I've, I've always loved boxing. I've been a big mm. fighting fight fan as well, and mm. like 1FC and all that kind of stuff. You know, is also a boxer here. Who? Cheyenne. <laughs> no way. Our producer. You want to spar later? We got <laughs> take, out, take, out the, take out the gloves. <laughs> oh, but it's so addictive. I will recommend everyone. It's not that as violent as you think it is. It's really just quite cathartic. But okay, to be very honest, yoga is great as well. It is. I just don't have the patience to sit there and. That's why you take up yoga to get that patience. Yeah, and then <laughs> boxing to you know run wild. But 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 uh, it's it's really great. And uh, I mean Naomi is um, just she's so zen right now. It's quite incredible. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Happy place. Has she yeah, also tried good. Pilates? Or is she like I'm just sure she has. yoga? Every, sure she has. every kid in athleisure has yeah. tried yoga <laughs> and Pilates. And they'll let you know on social media. And, and sometimes none at all. They just like how, how they look in athleisure. Oh, uh, <laughs> yes. You, know? I, you said it. I didn't say it. It's true though. It's I'm like you see, say that. you see someone walking down the street. I'm like, did you just walk out? And I, uh, no. No, they got well, the caramel, so. yeah. caramel yeah. frat, right? And yes. they're just living yes. their life. Yes. I want to take up yoga or Pilates. I need to be a little bit more flexible. I'd love to see you in some yoga pants as well. Oh, no, please oh my god, with my tummy sticking out and all that. Okay. <laughs> okay, before we let you go, Ben, because hey. my producers are going like, time's up, time's up. You guys got to oh, read no. the news and all that. Yeah. Um, let's talk a little bit, or you you tell us, please, about the uh, your album, Gloomy Boogie. Yeah, mm. it's a fun title. I just wrote songs for the title, actually. Oh, uh, did you? <laughs> yeah, no, it, it's um, obviously writing from a, a place of, I wasn't in the best mental state, you know, dealing with, I've always kind of had a bit of social anxiety going to events and all that. You know, in this industry, we're always at mm. countless events and shaking hands and, you know, meeting important Smiling. people. Yeah, and trying to, to retain a sense of normalcy, but then also connect genuinely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the album is kind of full of, you know, little anecdotes about that, um, but also just a chance to realize that, like, it's still fun to have a very danceable beat to a sad song yeah oh so right so it's kind of the idea behind the, the record so yeah. sad songs with a dance beat sad songs with a dance beat <laughs> I, yeah, like yeah. I like but that but there are two volumes though you're yeah. gonna release two. volume one first yeah. right yeah. <laughs> and volume one will consist of like what five songs what an artist so it's about <laughs> three parts yeah, so. <laughs> he might uh, extend it to another part yeah, yeah, yeah. that's right it'll never end guys I'm just trying to lengthen this career <laughs> it's two parts yeah mostly just cause of time <laughs> but um, okay. uh, first part comes out uh, end of this month, actually next week, I think. Yeah. Oh, we're looking forward to nice. that. For okay. sure. Thank you. you come back on the show again. 
Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. this time you come back for one hour. Any we'll chance be on to be on the Radio Avengers for sure. And then, <laughs> and yeah. then you can sing for us as well. <laughs> yes. 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 yes, only if you want to. <laughs> I do. I really do want to. I do want to. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Ben, for joining us this morning. Thank you, guys. It's been a pleasure. What, a, what an honor. Aww. No, don't it's 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 it was our here. honor. The legends. I'm no doctor. I know. Sorry, I didn't wear a suit. <laughs> but, uh, you guys are legends. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, Benjamin King. Coming up next, headline news and sports. This has been the Big Show and the Big Show TV. Wake, wake, wake up. Glenn and-